Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and it's time once again for your weekly wrap up and this is going to be a brand new format for this show so I'd love to get your feedback when it's over. Let's get to it. Now, last week on the weekly wrap up, we talked about this show and my concerns that it wasn't doing all that well. What I heard from a number of you was that you'd prefer to see it focused on the channel and have it be a wrap up of what we did and what's coming up in the next week, as opposed to being focused on a particular topic. So what I'm going to do uh, is try this where we do a channel update each Monday like we were doing before and then have topics live on their own. When there's something that's interesting to talk about, I'll do a video about it, but it's not going to be a weekly occurrence. However, this video will be. And on that note, let's take a look at what we've done in the past week here on the channel. Uh, we looked at Amazon Luna most recently. This is Amazon's game streaming service. I have done videos about most of the major game streaming services out there, but I hadn't really focused on Amazon just yet. Uh, but they added a free tier if you have a Prime subscription. You don't get a lot of games, but you can try it out. So that's what I did and did a video about it, so you can check it out in the playlist that you see on screen. We also looked at the new Fire 7 tablet, which is Amazon's lowest cost tablet you can buy. It's about the same price as a video game, but you get a full uh, Android-like experience running Fire OS. We also unboxed the Steam Deck. Uh, which of course is the handheld gaming PC that I ordered a year ago and finally got it in-house. Uh, we had of course the wrap-up about the wrap-up and we also looked at the new Plex home theater PC client that is available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. And it's made a lot of progress. It's not quite as good as the Nvidia Shield yet, but it's getting there and you can see all about that in the master playlist down below. Now coming up this week, we've got a bunch of things to look at, mostly PC centered. Uh, the first is a review of a mini PC from B-Link called the Mini S. That review is already shot and edited. You can actually watch it right now on Amazon, but it'll be up on YouTube likely tomorrow once I hit the publish button. We're also going to do something with the Steam Deck and I wanted to get your feedback as to what you want to see. I will, of course, maybe look at doing a review of it, but this thing has been out now for a while. I didn't get mine until Friday of last week, and I think the reviews are kind of oversaturated on YouTube. So I'm looking to cover things that haven't really been covered before. I have been able to get Windows working on it, so I am going to look at it in the context of maybe a Surface Go laptop or something that costs similar to it to see what might be the best way to go for portable gaming PCs, but I would like to get your feedback as to what you think has not been covered enough on the Steam Deck yet, and I'll be happy to do a review on that to maybe separate my content from everyone else's on this topic because it is a very popular one. I also got in the HP Victus 15 on loan. This is a relatively affordable gaming laptop, kind of on the low end. It costs about, I think, $729 as it is configured. Uh, this has a 12th generation i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 1650 GPU from NVIDIA. Uh, one of the things that HP says they improved on this is the cooling, so we'll see how it performs uh, over time under load. And it also has a Thunderbolt port on board over here because this is a uh, Intel-based device, and it's got Ethernet built in as well. And I've looked at these Victuses before, and they're nicely performing for the price point. So we'll see how this new one stacks up in a review that I'll be shooting this week. And I might also do a topic about cable card because my cable card disabled itself in my HD home run the other day, and then it magically came back to life. But I think cable cards days are numbered, and we'll look at maybe some alternatives that you might want to look at if you are maintaining your cable subscription. So lots of fun stuff ahead on the channel this week, and let me know what you would like to see down in the comments below. And this week's wrap up is being brought to you by all of you. And I want to thank some super chatters and super thankers this week. They include Keith Robinson, Grayson Petty, Thomas Ruffley, Josiah Guernsey, and Keith Weston. And we also got a new supporter on the channel, Dan Cannon, who contributed via my donor box page. I want to thank all of you for your contributions this week and everyone who's been contributing on an ongoing basis and all of you who watch on a regular basis too because all of those things equal channel growth. Now, if you want to support the channel, you can. You can go to lon.tv support and make a monthly or one-time contribution via our donor box page. And you can also sign up to join the channel via the YouTube membership program, Floatplane, or Patreon. 
And of course, we have the super thanks button, which allows you to do a one-time contribution via YouTube. We have other channels you can find me on, including my Amazon page at lon.tv slash Amazon shop. And there you can watch most of my videos ad free. And I do a lot of live streams there that are simulcasted over here on YouTube. You can engage with the channel via my email lists. I've got a daily email at lon.tv slash digest and a weekly email at lon.tv slash email. And on the emails, you can find all of my latest videos and blog posts. And we also have, of course, the Facebook group, the Discord, and the Telegram for communicating with me and other supporters of the channel. And then we have my store at lon.tv slash store, where I sell previously reviewed items like this tablet that'll be going up there soon at prices lower than new because they are used, at least for the purposes of making a review. But there's only one of everything. So I have a separate email list called the store alert email. And when you sign up for that, anytime I add something to the store, I send out an email to let you know there's something new up there. And that is going to do it for this week's new weekly wrap up. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. I really wanted this show from the beginning to be an interaction with the subscriber base. And I think this might be a great way to solicit ideas for the videos that I'm about to produce over the course of the week before I make them. So definitely leave your comments down in the comment stream. And don't worry, there will be topic videos coming up soon as well. That's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Brian Parker, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Baby Metal Fox God, Tom Albrecht, Amda Brown, Matt Zagaya, and Tech Time with Eric. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.